Okay, cool. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can export your footage. So, um, you know, let's say you already finished everything that we've been working on so far up until this moment. So the next thing to do is to export. So I'm gonna show you what's the best settings to do it. So the first thing is we're gonna go ahead, file, export, and then add to render queue. Now, the reason why we do add to render queue is because I believe this is the best way for you to export the footage. There is another way to do it, but this one you have the capacity to see everything here all the information of the file everything exactly so um, there is three things you need to look up here so the first one is the render settings so um, I'll always leave it at best settings so you don't need to change this now um, the output model will be basically you're gonna choose the format that you want to video to be at so in this case we're gonna leave it for my quick time and then um, you know here you click the format options in this case we're not going to leave it in animation because we want to actually see the video so we're going to choose um, apple pro res 422 this one is the basic one you know it's not that compressed but it's good quality as well so i think this one is the standard for quick time so i'll just gonna leave it there press ok and then ok again unless you have something more specific then you can always play around with that um, so yeah as far as the output to basically this is where the video is gonna be exported to in this case I'm just gonna export it to the desktop um, and I'm gonna call it tutorial number 10 just just really quick and then click save uh, replace I was playing around before and I name it the, the same okay so uh, and then you click render and then this one is gonna start loading so as soon as it finishes it will put uh, it will it will finish so that's one way of doing it now the other way of doing it is of course coming here export and then you will export the movie file or whatever it is but um, I don't know I find that sometimes you lose kind of quality so I always like to use the render queue because you get the best out of it. It renders really well. It makes sure that everything you've been working on on your timeline is gonna get there. So um, I recommend you always do it uh, to render queue and then you you know you do all your settings and then you press render and it's all good to go. Cool guys. So I think that's it for it. I've been hours. Um, I've been doing this um, for a long time now. You know. I remember it's been uh, basically six months since the last time I made a YouTube video or a YouTube tutorial. So I'm happy to give you these guys because I wish um, I did this. Um, I, somebody else did this to me a long time ago and um i mean i could look it into it thank you guys for sticking around i really appreciate it you guys are awesome if you guys apply any of this uh basic training uh you're gonna learn really quick after effects and it's just gonna come second nature to you so after this you won't have a problem so if you watch all the tutorials you're good to go now to go to the next level which is you know making more uh visual effects and and stuff like that so now you can actually go and start applying um, and looking for more tutorials on how you could do uh, really good effects but now you understand the program now you got the basics out of the way so yeah now you can navigate and you know where you are and you know what you're doing and it's not gonna be overwhelming so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe until the next one I'll see you guys bye bye